Hey guys, welcome to the part 7 of sign up using OTP. In this video, we are going to create another form in view that will help us in verifying the OTP. So for that, we will be creating a new views, then we will be creating an entry in routers and we are going to create a new component as well. So let's get started. So first we are going to start by creating our views and then we'll go to router and then we are going to create the component. Okay. So let me create a new file and then we are going to create a file. It will be called as verify OTP dot view. And this will be exactly similar to the sign up uh, view. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here and uh, this will be not sign up component but it will be verify dash otp dash component okay and we are going to import the same so it is verify otp component i'm going to copy paste it over here and i'm going to paste it over here as well and change the name so the component uh, file name will be verify otp and we are going to import it as verify otp component and this will be called as verify otp okay so our views uh, views is ready let's go in the router and create an entry for that so i'm going to copy paste this one and we will have a new path for that and it will be called as verify underscore otp so this will be in the browser browser url navigation bar and the name is verify otp and component name will also be the same verify otp and we are going to import it over here so it is verify otp that we are importing and verify otp so it is like ver import this verify otp from views from here so this is done and over here we are going to use a new thing that is called as props and i'll mark it as true so i will let you all know why i'm doing this afterwards so let's go ahead and create our component for verify otp verify otp dot view the layout will be similar to sign up dot view so i'm going to copy paste that okay so this is done and uh, the form name will be not register form but it will be otp verification then we will uh, have only one field that will be called as otp and we will have rules called as otp rules so i will create this otp rules and this otp variable and counter will be only till four because uh, we will be sending only four digits of otp outline and required these are fine i'm going to remove this second field and instead of that we are going to copy paste the bo uh, buttons okay so we'll go back to sign up component go down and copy these two buttons so this will be regenerate otp and then second one will be instead of register it will be verify otp so this will be disabled until user has entered some otp so this is also done now i'm going to copy this extra column that is like offset column and paste it over here so that our form aligns properly and then we are going to create the script so let's just copy it from uh, the sign up view and we'll use that don't have any function so i'm going to copy till data and we'll create rest of the things we'll close this data then we'll close this we'll put a semicolon over here and semicolon over here and then close the script sorry this should be a comma not semicolon okay and in data we will have few things that is uh, this otp i will declare it as blank then we have otp rules right so otp rules this will be again a list and then it will be having value and uh, arrow function then check if value if it does not exist then uh, show the error that is otp required otp is required let me fix this and there will be one more rule this will be uh, checking the length so we'll check first if v is there and and v dot length is less than equal to 4 otherwise it will show this error that is otp must be less than 4 characters actually less than 5 characters that means uh, it should be 4 characters okay so our rules are done our otp is done so our form is ready now that our verify otp uh, component is ready i have to tell you all what does this prop means and how we can use this so uh, as you all remember in the testing video we had seen that to verify the otp uh, we had to send id or even to regenerate the otp we had to send the id in the url right so if you see the structure of this sign up sign up component is there and the user will register over here so from here 
we have to send the id that is returned in the ui uh, in the data to this particular page that is otp verify of course we could use vuex but uh, this project is not really that big enough uh, to implement vuex so that's why we are using prop so it will pass data it will allow me to pass data from one component to the other so here i'm going to pass the id from sign up component to the verify otp view and from verify otp view it will be passed to verify otp so over here we will be able to use that so in order to use that i have to do something in verify otp and ver uh, this component as well so let's do that first we'll go to views and verify otp and over here in this we are going to receive it as prop so it will be prop what will be the name of the prop so i'm going to pass it as user id so this will be now available user id will be available in this particular page and we are going to use the same thing i'm going to just copy paste it in uh in this okay and this is verify otp so this prop over here means that we will be able to pass id from sign up page sign up component to verify otp view and from there we are going to also able to pass to this component so over here we will be able to access that uh, id in user id variable don't worry if you all have not understood what i'm trying to say i will show you all in practical example in uh, one of the next videos so now let's run this project and check if this particular page is ready or not uh, let me navigate inside the directory and then npm run serve so there are some errors let's check what are those and try to fix it so in this particular page on line number 13 we have done something okay we have to so let me copy and paste it and we'll try to run it again yes there are some errors and let me run it with prettier format it with prettier and that should be able to solve my some of the issues yes and we'll go to components and we'll run prettier here as well format document with prettier and that was able to fix all the issues and warnings and this is how our previous form looks like and we'll go to the verify otp path and this is how our new form looks like and this is correct otp is required and if i try to enter something beyond four digits yes it gives error so this looks good so that's it guys for this video in the next video we will try to write the logic behind this register button clear button and rest of the two buttons that is verify otp and regenerate otp so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share see you in the next one